yourself into the city? Why is that so important to you? Um, I don't know. I just plan to be here for for a long time, so it just may be a part of that. Shaquille Barrett, there's a couple of guys going to have to deal with this week on the field. They've been very vocal about coming to Detroit and making this a part of their revenge tour to avenge another you know, week for a lot. Just, what are your thoughts about their, their mentality coming into the game? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> revenge tour. Uh, I don't know. They, they, they could put it like that. It's just a normal game to us. We don't, we don't look at it as like that. Um, we just trying to come out with a win, you know. Play regular football on offense and defensive side. Play team football, special teams too. Do what we do best, you know. It's it's, it's nothing new to us. Uh, we we did it before, so you know. Hey, what have you learned about Jared Goff that maybe you didn't know about him when you first got here two years ago? Precise passer. Um, he's very on point and he's on, with the details. It's, it, it means a lot to this offense and, and things he do. So uh, that's 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 really the main thing. You feel like those details are becoming more and more second nature for for you and him as you guys continue to, to grow. Yeah, it, it, it came along like that uh, weeks ago. You know, as I started getting more reps and reps in the game. So. It, it, that's how they came along. Obviously, the whole night was probably surreal and an awesome experience. But how much did it fire you up when the fans started chanting JG's name? Oh no, that, that was, I ain't gonna lie. That's probably the second time I'd have heard that. But that was that was turned. You know, last year when I came back on the first game, they were saying JMO. But when they said it JG, yeah, they was doing that all game. <laughs> they need to do that again this week. Do that again this week for everybody. Everybody, whoever get the ball, I just need y'all to yell their name, whole name. Over this team right now. What's the confidence level of this team right now? Um, I think it's real high. You know, I think the city is giving us a boost though. Like how, how excited everybody is in the city. You know how 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 they making us feel like they they making us feel like shit. We didn't already won the Super Bowl just from winning one game for them. You know, everything we do is like overboard to them. Like they 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 take it to the to the max. So. Um, that's, that's just how they make that's how it feels, you know. Hey, so when you guys played them in week six, you had a tremendous amount of success. I think it was 12 grabs on 15 targets for 124. What allowed you to do that, despite the fact that you guys didn't really get the running game going? I mean, I think that's part of it. Um, we couldn't really get the running game going, so they stopped the run pretty well that game. So we had to throw it, um, and, you know, we, we threw it pretty well. Um, I had a pretty good game. But it was, um, yeah, I mean, we couldn't really run it. They had a good, you know, good plan for us. Run wise, and so we had to just you know throw. We were stuck in some third and longs and whatnot, second and long. So um, yeah, I mean it was one of those type games. Two part question for you: What can you take? You know, what type of challenges are you looking forward to this defense? And what can you take from that first experience, if any? You know, from playing them earlier in the year. Yeah, uh, you know, I think it was so early in the season when we played them. I mean, we we've, we've grown a lot as a, as a team, as an offense. They've got grown a lot as a team. Um, shoot, just watching their game live on TV when they play the Eagles, they looked, I mean, they looked like they were flying around uh, on defense, on offense. They looked like they were, I mean, playing confident. Receivers were making plays. Baker was playing well. So you can definitely tell it's a completely different team than when we played them. So we got to be ready. Um, it's hard to beat a team twice in this league. We know that. Um, but I think it's going to be a completely different game this, this time around than it was the first time. So um, I'm excited. Dan would was talking earlier and some would suggest that you guys are a very different team this time around. You've got Jonah, he was out that game. Ja was out that game. I believe Montgomery yeah. went out in the first half with yeah. an injury. How tantalizing is it to know that you have that many more pieces now in your offense and you guys really are clicking and rolling offensively? I mean, it's nice to, to have those guys uh, back where we didn't have them that, that first time we played them. But like I said, I mean, it's the NFL. Everyone can play in this league. doesn't matter if you're first, second, or third string. Craig had, a, Craig had a great game that game, stepped in for us. So, um, I mean, it's going to be a tough game either way you put it, whether you, we have Jameer and David or, or if we don't, with Jonah without. Um, they're going to be ready for us. Um, we're going to be ready for them. So, um, it's going to be a good game. What's the atmosphere around practice been like? I know you've said all season, keep the main thing the main thing. Right. What's it been like so far this year? I think, I mean, it's been, the, it's been the pretty, you know, pretty much the same every week. Um, obviously, it's nice when you're winning, especially at this point in the season, but... You gotta, you, you gotta kind of, you have to kind of turn the page after you know a win like we did last week. It's kind of hard with all the emotion, but I feel like we've done that. Um, we've, we've turned the page onto to the Bucks, um, and they're a good team. I think you know, it's one of those games where you know you, you don't want to look at their record of how of what they did all year. 
they're the, you look at their last tape what they did against the Eagles, and that's the team you're going to get, and not even better. So we know that. They're a good team. Um, the longer you get in these playoffs, the harder it gets. So um, it's going to be a good one. It's a team that likes to blitz a lot on defense. How does that affect you in your game as a wide receiver? Yeah, we gotta, you know, we got to get open. Um, that means Jared has less time. Um, we got to get in, in and out of our, our breaks, our routes, um, create separation. They play man. Well, now they do a lot of different things on defense. So um, the big has on us as receivers, we got to go. Go win, go make plays for our quarterback, and, and hopefully extend drives. We all played in Tampa. There was a lot of Lions fans there. Now being back at home, what was the environment like last Sunday, and what do you expect it to be like on this Sunday? Yeah, the environment was crazy last Sunday. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't have imagined anything better. Um, it was a, the best game I've ever been a part of as a player, um, atmosphere-wise. So my challenge to the fans is to be even better this week. Um, I know they will be. They've been great all year. Um, but I'm excited. I mean, the first time we played at Tampa, they showed out great that time, too. But this time it's going to be at home. I know four fields going to be rocking again, so I can't wait. I feel like we asked over and over about playoff experience. You know, a lot of guys hadn't had it. From being in that playoff, you know, that game, what did you take from that? I mean, what, what, what was the biggest difference or something that you can take for going, going forward in your career? Yeah, um, I don't know. For me, it was like, I mean, I could notice the, the, the vibe was different pregame, like more fans, louder. But once I got into the game, it felt like a regular game. It felt like a normal game for me. Um, you know, I like to try to keep everything the same. I don't try to get too high, too low during the game. Um, and I did that, and it worked out well for me. But, I mean, it felt like a normal game. Obviously, to the outside, it was a, you know, high-stakes game, playoffs or whatever. But I feel like for the guys inside of it, it was just another game for us. You know, do what we do, do our job. But it was, it was fun. Playing a team that really closed the season hot, kind of this team maybe a little bit on a similar trajectory to what you guys did last year. Can you just speak to the confidence that they're playing with after you know, winning five out of six, you know, winning in the playoffs, and kind of going through? The yeah, they're they're playing well. They're they're a good team. Um, like like I said, the longer you get in these in these playoffs, the harder it gets. So whatever you know, whatever we thought was tough last week, it's going to get even harder this week. Um, you know, they're strong on defense, good defense up front, linebackers. Corners can run, safety back end. I mean, they're good, good defense, good group. So, um, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough tough matchup. Um, but and we're excited. I think you know, hope we'll be ready. You've seen this, but a Lions fan shared a photo of his dad, who's currently in hospice, and he dyed his hair blue like yours. Like when you see things like that, how does it resonate with you? What does it mean to you to know that? It was it was awesome. I actually saw it. Um, someone sent it to me, like one of my friends, and. A lot of people end up sending to me, um, and it's it's just awesome to see that. You know, it's it's humbling as a player to know that you can touch other people's lives um, just by playing a sport and, and being who I am. So um, it's awesome to see. I'm actually gonna you know try and reach out to him tomorrow if I can, um, see what I can do. But it's uh it's definitely it's it's a cool cool thing to see. Have you felt the, the love from fans when you go to like pump gas? You go into a restaurant. I mean, do you get like recognized a bunch? People. Up about, um, the yeah, uh, I actually went to the mall with my, uh, with my girlfriend the other day, and you know when people recognize me, good job, you know we love you, this that and the other. So definitely, um, it's it's cool to see. I mean the fans they deserve it, you know they've they've they stuck with us for a long time. So it's awesome to see them happy, rooting for us, um, you know rocking the gear, the blue. It's awesome to see. You've obviously exceeded all outside expectations, but when we asked you this year if you've exceeded your own expectations, you said no way. Like you knew exactly how, how good you could be. I'm wondering what were your expectations for yourself when you entered the NFL three seasons ago? Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't, three years ago, it's tough. You know, I make my goals yearly, so, you know, each year. So going into my rookie year it was. You know, I wanted to be a starter, uh, make plays. I mean, it wasn't, it was nothing crazy. And then once, you know, I, I started playing, making some catches, touchdowns, whatever, going into my second year, I wrote down my goals, what I wanted to do. And then going into this year, same thing. So uh, each year, you know, I, my goals are really yearly. Um, and that's kind of been my thing, really. Relationship like with David? Uh, I mean, it's a really good relationship, really big brother, little brother relationship ever since I got here. You know, he's been a mentor, mentor to me ever, uh, you know, since the first day. Anything I need, you know, he's there. Everything he needs, I, I, you know, I try to give him the best advice I can. But, uh, yeah. Why have you become such a reliable target for Jared Goff, too? Because I think everybody expected you to play a big role in this offense, but you're third on the team in targets and receptions. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just do your thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Let your play do the talk. Yeah. So what do you expect know. your play to be like on Sunday in a game where everything's going to be on the line? Uh, I mean, I always expect a big game out of myself, you know, it don't matter what game it is. But, uh, yeah, I just want to come out on top with a win. So. Appreciate it, John. Thank you. Get crack at these guys. Obviously, that was one you didn't get to play week six. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, they're really good defense. You know, and I wanted to play against them uh, the first time. But, you know, fortunately, I couldn't because I got hurt. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Just for the fact that that was 40 yards, your lowest run total of the year against those guys. I know David got hurt and was obviously gone in the second quarter, too. But hey, you guys are at your best when you're a balanced offense. How important is that, establishing that and getting the run going? Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be very important. And I think, you know, the old line has a chip on their shoulder from my last game. Because, you, know, uh, you know, we could have done better. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, because we have a standard to hold. So I think you're going to live up to it. Is it um, a little bit even more of, you know, an advantage that the Bucks didn't get to see this full offense at, at full throttle the first time? All right, can you repeat that? Is it, is it an advantage at all that the Bucks didn't get to see this offense at a full throttle the last time they played? Because of you weren't in there and, and Monty got hurt so early. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so because you know we got you know a couple more plays and stuff. You know, uh, yeah, yeah uh, I don't say too much. <laughs> said yeah. beyond like the you know personnel that you didn't have that game and, and Tampa being a good defense. He said you guys were still finding yourselves as a, as a rushing attack at that point in the season. Can you just explain maybe how you've evolved? You know how, how this offense and the rushing the run game. Uh, I think everybody just you know running to their tracks and you know trusting each other. Uh, I did the right people in the run game and just like then our technique. You know uh, overwork our talent. So. Specifically, what is it about their defense that makes them tough to run on? Because it's not just you. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, they, they blitz heavy. They run to the ball. Uh, they get the ball out. And their front is very disruptive. So, yeah. Just from watching their film. Yeah. <laughs> when I see him on the sideline, he's big. He's big as hell. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he's good, though. He's really good. I respect, I respect him a lot. Uh, yeah, he's done a lot in this league, so I'm looking forward to playing against him. Now that you've had a couple days to digest it, did, what did you learn about your first playoff experience, about the speed of the game or just something like that? I mean, the game was pretty much the same, but it was, it was the vibe was like, you know, it was really different. Uh, you know, these home, past home games, it's been, you know, it's been loud, but, you know, that was different because, uh, you know, it was, it was the first playoff game in you know, 30 years, so I expected it to be like that. And it should be, you know, louder this week, so. Give me a sense of how you're feeling and how optimistic you are for this week. Uh, no, I'm feeling great. I'm really excited um, to just be back, you know, playing for the Lions again. we in the playoffs, so, you know, big game, but I'm uh, I'm ready. I know you want to play this whole game, but what is your ideal workload coming back? Uh, I'm going to leave that up to the coaches. You know, I can't, you know, speculate or anything like that. So. The smile on your face kind of says it all. What was it like watching that game last week and just hearing the crowd and knowing what what this team is capable of. Yeah, the crowd was so loud. It was crazy. I, I really felt like I was a fan. You know, I was kind of a part of y'all. But, um, nah, it was just electric. It was really electric. And I can't wait to see what it's going to look like this week. Um, a divisional game, you know, on our way, you know, to, to the conference championship. So, um, nah, I'm, I'm really excited. You feel like you can add after being away so long, like realistic goals for yourself. What do you see that? Yeah, uh, I go, I just, you know, every time I go on the field, I always just want to do my job, but I'm a playmaker at heart. So um, I want to be able to affect the game in any way that I can, just be able to change the game. Hey, when you got hurt back in week two, is this kind of what you envisioned, like having a chance to come back and, and make an impact at a big moment this season? Oh, yeah, I was, my envisionment was, uh, you know, being a, a playmaker throughout the whole year. And, uh, you know, that was a disappointment, but, you know, injuries and stuff happen like that. So it's all good. I'm back. I done, you know, worked my way back up and uh, I'm ready to go out there and go ball. The last three weeks have been working off some of the, the rust a little bit. And is there a little bit there? And I guess what's your expectation for Sunday? Yeah, there's going to be a little rush, you know, um, after three months of, you know, sitting down and not doing any type of football moves. So um, it's going to be a little rust. Uh, that's what, you know, we got off. We was trying to work off in this 21-day uh, activation period. So um, hopefully I feel like I'm, I'm good enough to go out there and go. I think that was just about getting you enough time to kind of be yourself and ramp back up. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I think that was a really good thing the coaches did. You know, allowing me to 
get back into my body, get back into myself, feel the flow of the game, feel the flow of football, just being in the building and being with the guys. So I, I really do uh, credit the coaches for doing that. You just focus so much on the physical part of, of you. How much stronger do you feel coming into this? Yeah, um, I really feel like I'm coming off of, you know, going into the season, going into, like, camp. So uh, I feel, like, primed up. My body's really strong and, and ready to go. Did, did knowing that, that you might have a chance to play if they won last week add to your nerves in, in watching that game? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh, I was really nervous, you know, because I want to play. Like, everybody, my whole family's like, I hope they win so you can play. Like, you know, and, and it's like, even this game, you know, I, I may not be activated or whatever, but I, I'm going to have a back, you know, full support. But I do want to, you know, be a part of it, be a part of everything. So yeah. How much does it give this defense kind of a chip on your shoulder when all the talk is about that Bucks defense and what they're able to do? Yeah, I think you know we're not really focused on too much about what people are saying. You know, it's been a lot of talk throughout the whole year from when we first stepped into camp till now. You know, the narrative has changed so many times. I think we just go in there and do our job. You know, Ag he he's got a good game plan. He's going to get us wrapped up to go. So. How much better does Baker Mayfield look now compared to when this team saw him in week six? You weren't on the field for that one, but how much have you seen him progress? This yeah, uh, I think he might have had his worst game really versus us. So um, he's been doing great, a great job throughout the rest of the season. Um, I know the offense has been kind of coming along. Uh, the running back, everybody's been kind of doing well. So it's going to be a challenge. Um, it's a playoff game, so we kind of already knew that. But, um, you know, we, we just got to hold our, hold our own. A lot of guys talk about injuries as kind of a learning experience to when they get back onto the field. What did you learn about yourself from uh, the time of being away from football? Yeah, I learned, you know, I'm not a patient guy. <laughs> I like things kind of to happen now, and uh, I think that was kind of a good thing for me. Um, I think God always, he puts, like, things in my, play, uh, in my, in my way um, to kind of slow me down, and um, I think it's just, you know, so I can be more well off, you know, when I do come back from it. And... Um, I think that's really all it was, so yeah. That's really going to be the hunted, you're going to be the hunters. Right. And now you got a couple of guys in the Bucks locker room saying this is going to be their revenge tour yeah. when they come to Detroit. Just how has that mentality that you take it from Dan shape you with guys talking like that? Oh, no, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know if revenge is a, it's a good thing, you know. I, I, I was a part of a revenge tour at Michigan, you know. Uh, but it doesn't really matter what they think. It's, it's all about us in this locker room. and. And we all know that, and we know, you know, we proved that we have the tools to beat them. And, uh, you know, I think we're all, we're all ready to go. We're all ready to prove it, you know, just just for another week. Obviously, they're a different team now, but is there anything, any benefits of facing the team twice? Obviously, they look differently now, but, I mean, any benefits of facing them twice? No doubt. No doubt. No, yeah, definitely from a... Um, from a pass rush perspective, you, you learn, you know, you kind of you get the feel of, of the guys you go against and stuff like that, and you kind of get a feel for, you know, some of their plays and, and how they run and just their physicality, and, and yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely advantageous, I think. What are you like around this time of year, man? We've seen a whole other version, an angry version. you ready to hit everything, man. Just your mentality going into these playoffs, man, how's it been? How are, how are you throughout the week, you know, just is, is any different from the regular season? Yeah, I, I try to keep my prep the same, keep, keep keep my preparations just like just like every week. But um, definitely in the playoffs, you, you, you feel like naturally you give a little bit more. You watch another game or two, and um, it's been great. It's been great. I've been looking forward to these playoffs since last year, and it's been my goal. And we're here now, and uh, it's uh, it's lo it looks very promising for us. It's been a pretty uh, wild stretch right now. Quarterback hits and sacks have been coming. I'm just curious, like. What's changed, and how much can you feel McNeil's presence back in the middle, kind of taking some eyes off him? Yeah, no, having having Aleem there is great. Just he's uh, he's really de he's developed so much this year, and, and what he's done for us in our D line, and just having that middle push is is it's really great for for any D end. And um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm not I'm not quite sure how to answer that that first part of that question, but we're here, and uh, I'm not looking back. Uh, James Houston to the after roster today just getting that guy opposite you obviously he was so productive at the end of last year and if he could be that guy again just how important is that for you guys to have you on one side a lean in the middle and, and maybe a guy that can affect the game yeah, on the other side that'd be great you know it, it feels like you know we're really getting the pieces coming together right now and and um, it's very exciting I can't wait for James to get back I know he's still kind of getting his feet so you know I don't know how much he's going to play but um it's going to be good. It's going to be good to get, to, to get him back. Do you feel like you're playing some of your best ball of your career right now, especially in the last three games? Probably. I mean, statistically, I would say so, yeah. But um, 
you know, I think still learning a ton. I'm still making adjustments every single week. And um, I think I just kind of figured out my own identity, you know. You've had the pressures all season long, but to see the stats come, is it kind of patience paying off for you? Yeah, yeah, I think it's patience. The, the timing is here. Um, and, yeah, I, I, it's just the timing. That's, that's all it is. How different is Baker Mayfield now compared to when you saw these guys in week six? He's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and, you know, he's, he's a guy that thrives off of that confidence. So, um, got to contain him in the pass game and, you know, got to uh, gotta get pressure up front and, uh, you know, bat down some balls and do what we got to do.